When I started practicing as a public company securities lawyer, I had a red book with all the rules, and it was a very rule-based practice. Today, we see a lot more influence from proxy advisors, and we think about corporate governance best practices and how they may play out as opposed to just what the SEC requires. So when we draft proxy statements, we're thinking about making decisions with proxy advisors in mind. We're also thinking about acting as shareholders. So we're, we're often thinking about best practices on governance. How is this going to play with certain activist shareholders? What are their issues? Should we anticipate that and get ahead of it? Should we proactively adopt things or should we wait? How much do we care about issues and how much credit can we get for the ones we don't care much about and are willing to give? So just being proactive, thinking about all the, the various, call them non-legal influences, whether it be activism, proxy advisors, and best practices, as opposed to just the law. My clients come to me for judgment. At the end of the day, it's table stakes to be able to understand the SEC regulations and execute on a capital markets transaction in a technical way. Where I add value is knowledge of the relationship with the client over years, oftentimes, of, of understanding their business, understanding their risk tolerance, understanding the way they do business, and adding value and putting judgment on top of that. So I tend to be very grounded in the rules, but very practical and pragmatic in applying them in a way that meets the desires of a client. That doesn't mean you don't have to say no sometimes, but adding that judgment and perspective, and I have the advantage of having lots of public company clients that I work with and taking those best practices or experiences and applying them to others. I'm really proud to represent some of the best and biggest public companies in Colorado and across the country. And knowing that a company in the Rocky Mountain region doesn't have to go to New York for their securities work, they can do it here. And likewise, companies in other parts of the country can come to Colorado and get top-notch securities and public company advice without paying the New York fee has really allowed my practice to thrive.